You know that I, I told that uh, I don't want to stay on parade, but I fucking want to stay on parade. This game fed us. This game fed us, man. There's so much to talk about. All of it was great. It was fascinating. Guys played well. I kind of think the Lakers are a little discouraged by that one. Um, stay on parade, Kale. Are the Nuggets staying on parade right now? Give us an update here. We got an updated graphic. There it is. The parade of wins. There it is. The we parade this of wins. Oh, this is the new version of the, the steps here. Where we're just adding a car. We need 16 cars. To fill out the parade, we got the first one oh featuring Blacko. We, we got, got Blacko. Hey, Blacko's on that first car. <laughs> we got our first, first car. car. <laughs> All right, he's on the first bus. I on love the, it. On the there. first fire truck. Uh, that'll be fun to count down, of course, as the Nuggets attempt to stay on parade. I got the homies with me in the house. Later in the show, Miroslav will be joining, or at least in the bar, uh, over here. Brennan Vogt. I have to say, I'm a little surprised that that game followed the same script that the last seven games followed. <laughs> Did not see that coming, but I'm happy to be in the Toyota Winners Lounge with the fellas. Feels right. It really feels I mean, right. It does feel right. This feels, feels like right. the right place to be. Over here, I got D Line. Guys, mm. how you feeling about uh, Lakers in five? <laughs> it's a tough one right now, but you know, <laughs> if they can play like they did in the first that like four minute stretch where they dominated, if they can just channel that for four 48 minute games, <laughs> I, no, I think they can do it. Over here, Superstar Dev. I don't give a damn about a moral victory. I don't. Bro, there wasn't one there tonight. Was no There's moral nothing victory. moral We're about that. We're done with the nothing. moral victory. It was a moral victory sweep. Now Denver's up 1-0. I'm feeling good about this one. I am feeling good about this one. Nuggets win by 11. 104-103. Remember how close it was last year? Everybody kept talking about close. Our it's first game. I was surprised the Lakers quit playing with 40 seconds left. Now, they weren't going to win, but you know how you just like keep fake playing. Well, they gave up even early. If it, yeah, they gave up in the third quarter. They kind of did. <laughs> they kind of did. Uh, before we do the fast breakdown, just to give everybody a little bit of what they came here for, we got a little Rakia, or as some say, Rakia. Rakia. And look at our, we got updated for the playoffs. We finally busted out our nice, I can't remember what these are called, Serbian shot glasses. Serbian sippers. Givali. Givali. It's forces are you to shoot it. it or we sip you it? Can't, you can't shoot it through these. So good. It just looks like a decanter. Oh, it is forcing you to sip. Yeah, it does. All right, fast breakdown. I know, breakdown. which is actually bad news for us. Fast breakdown coming up. <laughs> like very, first, it. <laughs> very first start of the game. Rui adjustment. Rui on Jokic. Not a surprise. We knew it was coming. Aaron Gordon, two fouls. Honestly, this story, the story of this game could be told in two things. The first one here, Aaron Gordon, two fouls. Right away. And the second one was really dumb. I'd love to complain about foul calls. Lakers getting everything. AG made a couple boneheaded play. Well, one in particular, boneheaded foul was the second. He was amped up. He was, I mean, yes. But he was still, jazzed but, up. Of course, I'm not trying to kill the guy. I'm just saying. This is a play he was jazzed. <laughs> Piwat comes in for him, not to fear. Uh, drains two threes immediately. Also gets two fouls immediately. He so was jazzed up. He was a little jazzed <laughs> up, dude. Like, what do you expect? <laughs> Good news, though, my next note, note here. Jokic playing great. LeBron playing great. 
10 fast break points for the Lakers. There are things to clean up as good as Denver was tonight. There's a lot they could actually improve heading into game two. Lakers were up 33 to 25. That was the portion of the game that they owned. Get into the second quarter. Jamal immediately drains a three. Jamal did not have a great first quarter, uh, but he comes in, immediately drains a three. DeAndre Jordan minutes. We didn't know that we were going to go there. We went there, and he played great. Reggie had back-to-back -back turnovers that both led to fast breaks, and it was like Denver close up, and then the lead balloons again. Nuggets needed a timeout after those back-to-back -back turnovers because it was like Denver, you know, you're at that point where it could get away from you. And what happens? 8-0 run immediately out of the timeout in the second quarter. It's like the starters come back on the court. AG in that foul trouble early, so it was like you, it was almost like, in some ways, the first real stint of the starters. Immediate 8-0 run, then they tie it, and LeBron's three at the buzzer is the only thing that put the Lakers up 60-57. to It was the last moment they would feel good about themselves. Third quarter, Nuggets take the lead with the six-minute mark. Then they started absolutely rolling. Then they demoralized the Lakers. That third quarter was a haymaker. 32-18 to Nuggets, and honestly, it was over there. KCP up to four threes. Most, if not all of those in that third quarter. 89 of 78 Nuggets, and then let's go to the fourth quarter. Great bench stint to open. A 7-3 run. Lakers look exhausted, demoralized. DeAndre Jordan gave you some really good minutes. Jokic comes back in with 7.45 to go up 10. LeBron guarded him for one possession. They, I think, forced a turnover or forced something some clunky. Lakers got into the bonus with five and a half minutes to go in this game. Was that a storyline? It could have been. Getting into the bonus, drawing fouls, that's like, honestly, might be line item number one for the Lakers, and they did that in this game. Didn't matter. <laughs> did not matter. Jokic hit a three to put Denver up 10. It felt really big. Michael Porter Jr. also hit a uh, shot that felt really big, put the Nuggets up 12 with four minutes, and the rest is history. Denver do did what they always do, which is close them out. It was a masterpiece, man. It was a masterpiece. Outside of that first quarter, the Nuggets really spanked them, and it was great. Uh, Superstar Dev, start us off. What's your big takeaway? Uh, Red Hawk Roofing, ah! big takeaway. My Red Hawk Roofing big takeaway is Nikola Jokic ate right in front of our face. Oh, what Anna. a milk banger. Whoa. What? Wow. A milk banger. What a Anna? milk banger. What a muck banger he is, really. <laughs> He's had to go through adjustments. I love the way that the Nuggets were able to um, counter the punch that the Lakers you know, threw early. This wasn't about resilience. This was about finding themselves, calming themselves down, and um, knowing what the game plan was. And the easiest game plan that you could have is feed the best player in the league. Nikola Jokic finished with 32 points, 12 rebounds, 7 assists. And the best part about it, I don't even think it was an A-plus game. I don't even think it was an A game. I just think that he does exactly what needs to be done to get you over the top, to just be able to take over in these type of situations. And that's exactly why he's the best player in the league. Yoke was freaking incredible. We forget what playoff Yoke looks like. Every In the regular season, Oftentimes, we'll get so mad at Yoke for not being aggressive. What are you doing? Just be a, If you were aggressive, you could score on him. In the playoffs, he just does that. And tonight, it was Anthony Davis, one of the toughest matchups. And it was like, oh, yeah, Yoke's just trying to murder him every time. And he did. Yoke's the best, man. 15 of 23. He was great. D-line? Um, the Nuggets who are who we thought they were. I the agree. Nuggets are exactly who we thought they were. This game went exactly how I expected it to go. The Lakers come out early. They punch you in the mouth with old players, LeBron James, Anthony Davis. They have their best, unsurprisingly, their best performance in the first half. As the game uh, continues on, they get tired. They just start chucking up threes. The entire Lakers uh, bench, all of the players got gassed as this uh, game continued on. And the Nuggets got stronger, and that is an absolute recipe for the for disaster. The Lakers are in so much trouble in this uh, in this series, and it's just more of the same. It's just we're just seeing the same game over and over and over against these two teams, where the Lakers come out early, and you're like, oh man, LeBron's really turning back the clock. I don't know, we really good. We could be really doing something here. And by the end, you're like, what are we doing? What are we doing? I know. Who's your daddy? <laughs> Vote. <laughs> I'm going to hop on it now because I think it'll fall through the cracks. So, unsurprisingly, I'll be the one to point out that that was a mental toughness masterclass for Michael Porter Jr. With all he's dealing with this week, he and his family, and again, consequences to actions, and his brothers are, are facing that. And it's, it's, it's not that they don't deserve those consequences, but there's a reality to what that's like for their family. 
And as far as potential distractions go, I would figure that what the Porter family has been through this week is up there. And then Porter comes out and starts one, one of five from the field. And he finishes shooting over 50% from the field, over 40% from deep. What is it, 19 and eight with three stocks and he's a plus 10. And I really don't think they win that game if he doesn't find something in the second and third quarters. So to deal with what he was dealing with throughout the week, to have that rough start and then to find a way to turn it on, I understand that he's had three back surgeries. He's not always going to get in his defensive stance. He's not going to get down on the ground and win every loose ball. And he's got the weak hands, right? So sometimes when Porter doesn't play well or he misses, we want to say soft. That's the first word that a lot of people use. Let this be the ultimate reminder. Michael Porter Jr. is not soft. That is the wrong word. I know what you're trying to say. I know what we've tried to say, but that is the wrong word. If he was soft, he wouldn't be here. If he was soft, the Nuggets wouldn't be here. Anyway, in reality, here they all are. 1-0. Great start. A great start. He definitely bounced back even from a rough start to the game. Yeah, that, uh, As you said, it was a rough start, but he bounced back from that and made some major impact plays in this game. My Red Hawk roofing big takeaway. Ah! A 12 of 23 from Anthony Davis. 32 points, 14 rebounds, 5 assists, 4 block shots. Great game. LeBron James, 27 points, 6 rebounds, 8 assists, 10 of 16. Those are championship oh, numbers. Was beautiful. Man. Those guys are cooking. Easily a win for they, them. They got it. Uh, they outshot the Nuggets from the foul line, 19 to 6. Six. Nuggets have to go, go against the refs also. Aaron Gordon in foul trouble early. Man, they got to make this adjustments. This sounds like this is going horribly in Denver's favor. Yeah, what do you have to do? Hold Bring up a second, DeAndre guys. Jordan? Hold up a second. 41 minutes for LeBron James tonight. Yeah, I know he dominated every single one of them for sure. <laughs> 41 minutes for D'Angelo Russell. 45 minutes for Anthony Davis. This is a they're, great take. They're tired. That sounds like they're putting in the time. They really wanted that one. The Nuggets and Lakers play again on Monday in about a little bit under, what is that, 48 hours? About 45 hours or so, they play another matchup. The Lakers put a lot into this game, a lot, and it wasn't close. You it's, know, uh, yeah. There's a sometimes game one's a feel out game. We're gonna try some things. You're on the road. We just need to get a split. I actually think because the Lakers got up, what was their biggest lead? About 14 12, points or so, 12 yeah. or 14. Because they got up big. There's almost this like, all right, we gotta steal one in Denver. That's the you write the formula to how to win a series when you as an underdog. We gotta steal one on the road. One or two, it doesn't matter. Let's get into the game and see how it goes. Oh, my God, we're up 12 or 14 points. Uh, All in. All <laughs> systems go. Yeah. Everything go. Run ourselves into the ground. And it wasn't close. It wasn't close. This isn't a game where it's like they played Anthony Davis for 45 minutes just for fun. They played him because they thought they had a chance to win. And that chance evaporated. The Lakers tonight were that raccoon meme with the cotton candy put it in the water and all of a sudden it's gone. <laughs> that was them. They're like, we're all in on this game. And they lost it. And you know who didn't look too tired? Jokic. Sure. This never is, does. Uh, the number one most underrated trait of Nikola Jokic of all of his skills might be the fact that guys get tired and it's just like, he gets excited. He's like, oh my god, Anthony Davis looks like really tired over there. I'm going to kick his ass in the <laughs> second half. Exactly what he did. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad that you like spoke on those, you know, player valiant effort by, by those guys. Played their hearts out. Yeah. What Denver did was they went through those adjustments. They saw the fourth quarter change up that they had. They saw a team, you know, be able to go up and it still was not enough. If you're the Lakers, you look at that game and you say like there's not many things that you feed off of that and say this is all we need to do. I think that that's no. what it was. This was a demoralizing win because they did play so well, especially early on. I mean, you could say, like, we could try to push a little bit harder. We could play longer. But no, you're you not going to be able to do those. You're not going to be able to adjust the, the way that they did. And also, Denver, I feel like, has another gear. So that was not a fill-out game. That was a, hey, we're here. We're going to show you guys. And now we're going to make the adjustment. I, I'd be afraid for, of the Denver adjustment because if they start out hot in the first in the first half, this this would have been a real blowout. Yeah, it's so true. No, I mean like it's I, yeah, this really couldn't have gone better. Uh, this exactly how I expected it to go. We kind of talked about this uh, yesterday or whatever, however many days ago, previewing this series. Like we expected Denver to kind of come out and take control, and they kind of just let the Lakers punch themselves out. They kind of rope a doped them in yeah. a sense. I mean, they they again they weren't trying to be down, but. 
the Lakers really, really burned a lot of energy and like showed what true front runners they are. I mean, I mean, not even in a not even in a punitive way like they that's how they play like they really want to get out run fast leave you behind and demoralize you and the Nuggets just aren't having it and they're they're so confident um I don't know what I mean that's now nine in a row uh the net the, is that the, what the it Nug- is I don't even I've lost count. the Nuggets now have nine in a row at minimum it may be 10 in a row against the <laughs> Los minimum. Angeles Lakers four uh four last playoffs three that's during the season um this is eight this season I mean it's like what do you do they, they have no answers. And they're not getting closer. They're getting further away. I, you mentioned earlier they have an adjustment. I don't think they went to it tonight. I mean, look, I'm going to go to the tape. We'll try to comb through it. We'll hear what everybody had to say. I don't think they went to it tonight because they were down too much. <laughs> I don't think you go to your adjustment when you're like, we're probably not going to win. Do we do we play that card? Do we play the card we have up our sleeve? Like, it's not going to make a difference tonight. So you might as well hold on to it. Yeah, but that's even scary as a coach. Like, hey, you guys play hard enough that we'll bring out the secret weapon and then never get to use the <laughs> secret weapon. It's like, that's hey, so we true. have something in the back that yeah. we're willing to get out in the fourth quarter if you guys stay close. Yeah. What if they never stay close? You don't even get to make that adjustment or you're going to do it at different times. They might say that they didn't do the adjustment. What if they did? And it just still didn't work. Now you're back to the drawing board. And I feel like that's what it is with Denver. I think that people see it and they're like, hey, that looks easy or that looks different until you're in front of it. And then that's when you have to like really go through the motions of it. I feel like if, if the Lakers don't go up huge, they will never get to that adjustment. That's a scary spot to be in. I love the idea of never getting to it. Vote, I'll let you take us to break on this one. Was this a statement opening game to the to the playoffs? No. Because it's beneath the Nuggets. <laughs> I'm serious. No, I'm serious. I think a statement was made. I don't know if they were trying to make one, but I think one was made. Sure. That reminder, everyone, this is a 2-7 series. Yeah, if yeah. you spend enough time online or watching certain yeah. networks, you came away with a lot of anxiety for, was this going to be one of the potential upset series? Now, we're only one game through it, I understand. But, no, what the Nuggets did was they reminded everyone that this is a 2-7 matchup and a lopsided one. Eight in a row now for the Nuggets. It's eight? It's eight in a row now, including five playoff games. And these are not coincidences. So this, the only statement was nothing's changed. Nothing's changed. Yeah. All right, let's take a break. On the other side, so many people to talk about. DeAndre Jordan, KCP, oh, mm. Peyton Watson. Oh, is, all those stars. A lot of guys to talk about, man. I'm excited to talk about Toyota. Your front range Toyota stores are excited to begin their new partnership with us here at DNVR. Toyota is the official vehicle of DNVR, and you guys are hanging out with us in the Toyota Winner's Lounge as the Nuggets look to stay on parade. Trucks are in Toyota's DNA. Great trucks are in Toyota's DNA, and sturdy, dependable greatness, I dare say, is now in the Nuggets' DNA. So what a perfect fit here. Whether you're looking to conquer off-road trails or hauling the weight of the world, there's a Toyota truck that's just right for you like the all-new 2024 Tacoma and the return of the iconic 2024 Land Cruiser coming this spring. Visit your Front Range Toyota stores at a location near you. That's Auto Nation Toyota Arapaho in Centennial, Corwin Toyota in Boulder, Groove Toyota in Littleton, Mountain States Toyota in Denver, Stevenson Toyota East in Aurora, and Stevenson Toyota West in Lakewood. Remember, Toyota is a proud partner of the Denver Nuggets, and they're also the official official vehicle of DMVR. The beep, beep. beside itself. Uh, nine, nine wins in a row. Is it nine in a row? Yeah, because they, they are, won the last of the regular season two seasons. Oh, you guys are right. Thank you very much. It's nine in a row. Uh, yeah. And how we do at uh, Bet365 tonight, Dev? Did we have some fun? We did our thing, of course. We did our thing, of course. <laughs> hey, I'm up $11 regular. I meant to mention that earlier. Eleven eighty-eight. That's good. Hey, why, why, would you say that? why don't you say your units or something? I'm up 11 units. Dude, I, well, first of all, we we'll probably units. have more. I always make one crate. You guys remember when I lost money on Christian Brown from January to March? <laughs> so, so I even get a little wild out there on those streets. We still win. We did do our thing. Uh, we came out with uh, like four or five of like our top bets today. Hell yeah. We went four or five. Four up five. At Bet365, there's nothing ordinary unless it's Dev winning. My they MVP believe every sport should be back. epic. Right now, new customers can choose between two offers when they open an account at Bet365. Use the code DMVR365 to sign up, deposit $10, and choose between either a bet and get offer and place about a $5 or more <laughs> and get $150 in bonus bets or a first bet safety net offer by placing up to $1,000. And if your qualifying bet loses, you receive a matched refund in bonus bets. 
Yeah. You have to be 21 or older, physically located in Colorado. Please gamble responsibly. If you or somebody you know has a gambling problem and wants help, call or text 1 800 GAMBLING. You guys got to add us, like just tag us in your great tweets throughout the playoffs. Please. We'll bring them on the show. We want to highlight them. This one comes from the homie Ryan Konigsberg. Uh, look at this one here. Imagine a dude showing up to a playoff game against you like it's Halloween and then <laughs> cooking your asses. <laughs> you really did not show up like Halloween. He turns, dressed yeah. up as turns everybody it, put on their finest suits. He was like, I'm going to go in costume. And it turns out it was Thanksgiving. It's the feast. It. <laughs> well, gotcha. It was a feast indeed. <laughs> uh, you got a fire tweet, man. Tag us in it. We'll bring it up on the show all playoffs long. Um, KCP was an unsung hero tonight. He goes four of ten from three. 12 points, two, ass- two rebounds, one assist, three steals. The threes were huge, Dev. But you know what was huger? D'Angelo Russell's the X factor in the series. What kind of night did he have? Oh, he, he shit the bet. <laughs> <laughs> he did, in fact, shit the bet. Now listen, what's right is right. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Like real, Right now, Lakers fans are blaming that game solely on this D'Angelo the, Russell. This was the, was it he got shut down? This the was thing the is, safest bet of all time. On the flip side, you need to give that respect to KCP. Um, KCP, had he went 4 of 11. So this was like not a crazy scoring um, night for him. But those four shots, the timing of it, how loud oh. they were, they were they were momentum changing plays. They actually won the game in, in that stretch right there. And then he's he's playing incredible defense. He's stripping everything, poking, um, making things you know difficult. And that's while going through an injury. He was holding his hand the entire time, and that's when it, it happened after the injury. So like that's where the resiliency comes in. He's like, hey, I'm not going to make any excuses. I'm still going to take the shots. I'm still going to, um, you know, do what needs to be done. That is a, a true professional. And he's the big reason that D'Angelo, D'Angelo Russell sucks, but he's a big <laughs> reason why he sucked tonight. <laughs> what, like the other reasons are just that he's D'Angelo Russell. Yeah. Um, Can't did, change that. Dude, KCP was incredible. Those threes he hit, that's like... Casey Spree that we were a, a part of where he just was like knocking down threes that were looking for him specifically to shoot the three. And at a certain point, we're like, man, don't shoot again. He just kept hitting it. We're like, don't listen to us. We're idiots. Keep shooting the ball. KCP is so important to the Denver Nuggets and what the Denver Nuggets do. And this was a, I mean, tonight was an absolute banner night for him. Just on both sides of the ball. D'Angelo Russell was invisible. I love that they've already turned on D'Angelo Russell. I, again, <laughs> this is the... You know what, though? He'll respond really well to that <laughs> criticism from his fans. <laughs> Fun fact, only Laker to finish in the positive. I'm pretty sure. Incredible. I'm pretty sure it was him and Jackson Hayes who played four minutes. You should tell him that so yeah. he can tell the Lakers. No, the key base. is to shoot 20 more times for sure. <laughs> Incredible. Hey, incredible. Uh, KCP, the best. D'Angelo Russell, the worst. You combine those two. Peanut butter chocolate. Yeah, I love it. Um, where else do you want to go here? Aaron Gordon's such a key to the series, man. Listen to the stat line, man. He was as close to a triple-double as Yoke was. 12 points, 11 rebounds, 7 assists. He was a game-high plus 20 because, as I mentioned, really the only reason the Nuggets struggled tonight was because he was in foul trouble for a short stint when right. the Lakers went on a run. But his ability to wear down LeBron and to guard him and defend him and make things hard for him. LeBron wanted no part of it in the second half, man. He really did. And I don't blame LeBron. Year 21, 39, I'm 40. I played today. My knee hurts. I was just telling you guys. (laughs) LeBron's out here in the finals playing 100 times harder and twice as good. And yet here uh, he is just getting absolutely worn down, taking threes, not even attacking. AG, man, it's just – remember that – image of Yoke looking over and seeing Kawhi check in to the yeah. 2004 LeBron. 13 or LeBron. LeBron. Yeah. He looks over and he sees Kawhi and he's like, oh, crap, he's coming back in. I kind of think he feels the same with AG. Like, this is just exhausting. You know, yesterday at the practice, the last practice of the week, AG was asked sincerely if he's ever sore after guarding guys like LeBron. It's just a freight train coming at you time and time again. And AG bristled at the question. He said, you better ask someone else that question, man. He he doesn't get sore. Then someone followed up and said, what about that hard fall you took a couple months ago? And AG said, it kind of tickled. And here's the thing, man. 
You can't, yeah. you can't bully AG. You can't. <laughs> no. Draymond tried to. It worked for a little bit, and AG dug deep and learned something about himself, and he's been a different player ever since. He's ready for these assignments defensively. And then how about the other side of the ball? Yes, he goes 8-0 oh, for 3 from 3. Those misses were bad, even the corner ones. But outside of that, didn't spend too much of this game thinking about the way they were guarding AG because he stayed active in other ways. How about seven assists? And if they're laying off you and letting you shoot, it's also a lot of room to read the floor, man. And AG is not a bad passer. By the way, three of those seven assists went to Michael Porter Jr. I'm serious about the pay it forward connection. You're right, man. It's growing. The but bromance? Good, but good on AG, man, because it's not just about hanging out in the corner. So 12 points, 11 boards, seven assists. The foul trouble is the biggest issue. Outside of that, tremendous minutes from Aaron Gordon tonight. This was an A++ game from Aaron Gordon. He was a stat sheet stuffer um, that made LeBron work the entire time. LeBron had to elevate his game, especially in that first half, because Aaron Gordon is trying to match everything that he's doing, or at least make it difficult to where LeBron is trying to make switches to get off of him. Like, if you look at when LeBron scores him, is when Aaron Gordon's not on him. When Aaron Gordon gets on him, he's using his body, he's using his strength, he's using his <clears throat> athleticism and, and, and size um, to make it difficult. Um, and, and that's what's going to wear LeBron out the entire time, and he did that. Offensively, I mean, he was, he was a force on the boards. Um, he's making his cuts. We got to see a finale oop that almost closed the door on the, in the entire game. It did, um, He just way. knows exactly... Yeah, it's the finale. Here, no, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. saying like that you actually know, did. No, it was because they took the lead, I think, at 72 71, and the, the finale you're talking about was 74 71. Yeah. It was the spiritual word. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, yeah. 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 We're going to elevate our game, but I mean, I just love the rhythm that he's in. He took a couple of threes, but you have to take those threes. Yeah. Other than that, there wasn't shots that you're like, why is he taking those type of shots? I agree. And that, that's the difference because I know that that was one of the game plans. We're going to let Aaron Gordon shoot. We're going right. to just you know, play off of him. You can't do that when Aaron Gordon is a force on the board. You can't do that when he's playmaking and he has seven assists. Um, so you like to just see that energy, that motor from Aaron Gordon. He needed that time off to get himself ready for this. He's ready for this uh, right oh, now. Yeah. And if you like want to understand the impact that Aaron Gordon has on the game, just look at the time that happened directly after he went out with the two fouls. Like that is when the Lakers made their push. That is when the Lakers started to impose their will on the Denver Nuggets. That's when the Nuggets were looking for answers. Who's, who's going to like, who's going to match up on LeBron. Um, and that LeBron had like three or four baskets right in a row when it was Jamal was on him. Uh, he was just kind of sort of catch as catch can Peyton Watson. He was uh, just kind of like dispensing of, but you know, then Aaron Gordon come back in. When all the adults come back into the room, it's just like it's just like not. It's like what it's are we time to stop cussing? Like what are we? Yeah, it's time, like what are we doing? Like what are we doing? Yeah, hey, can we pour one out real quick uh, for DeAndre Jordan? Oh, I Wait, did, did he not die? expect to did see he die? him. Well, yeah, that's he's alive. <laughs> oh, okay. What do we do when we're just celebrating? Is it not? We take a shot. I think you just raise a drink. Can we give a shot? You want to raise the glass? You don't want to pour it out. Can we? Can we find a reasonable price for his Can house? Can we mourn DeAndre Jordan's <laughs> time on the court today? Can we, can uh, we inform his friends and family? Like, uh, <laughs> can we send our condolences <laughs> to... He <laughs> played a great game. He played a great game. Uh, nine minutes from DeAndre is nine more than I expected. He goes from four points, two rebounds, one steal, one block. He was only a minus three, and I say that not tongue-in-cheek at all. The non-yoke minutes... You're worried about those. They were a minus three tonight, and he played great, man. He had some big time plays. His timing was incredible when he came in because Aaron Gordon was in foul trouble, yep. and this was where the Lakers were on a run, where they could have taken off for even longer if he doesn't, you know, make an impact. The thing that's best about DeAndre Jordan right now, he's forcing guys to foul him the entire time that he's out there. He's given that, you know, the energy, but he's also forcing fouls, which, which, you know. The Nuggets didn't have many fouls. He's the only one that's getting fouled. He knocks down his free throws. He grabs a steal. He gets a block. He's making it, you know, difficult for uh, for Anthony Davis, where he's just having to work um, hard. Um, and you weren't going to get that from anyone else. Him on the court means that we didn't get. To, I mean, we didn't have to have a, a Zeke Naji trying to figure out type of game. Um, I think that that's great. He gave great minutes in this, and really, you you you, you give a hat tip to him only going minus two or minus three. I do. That's a good stint. Any other notes on, on him? We can move on to Peyton Watson. Playoff debut. 
Play I mean, other than, uh, you know, garbage time. 14 minutes tonight, eight points, including back to back threes in the first quarter when they. The Nuggets' first Needed quarter them. was actually scary. It yeah, was man. Terrible. played really bad. It wasn't because of him, though. He saved them. No, the first uh, run, the first, like, run from Denver was Peyton Watson turning it on. And he scored. Hey! He scored eight quick points in the first quarter. <laughs> Miroslav, Miroslav just showed up. Here. Hell and, yeah, uh, he's here. Yeah, yes, he, did sir. Not, he did not go on to score again for the rest of the game, but man, those points were meaningful. Yeah. Denver kind of was hanging on by a thread early. And again, that was Piwat who went on that first he run. Easy to forget now, guys, because both KCP and Mike shot over 40% from three in this game. In the first half, they, were, they weren't hitting anything, and things didn't look good for Denver until Christian and Peyton Watson checked in. Now, it was a real playoff game for Peyton. There were also some possessions where uh, little Tory Craig legs going on, you know what I mean? Getting a little too yeah. excited, go, yeah. maybe not thinking everything through. But don't overlook those eight points in the first quarter to help Denver stay connected. Because if he doesn't score them, that might have been a bigger deficit at the end of the quarter and the end of the half. 100%, man. P-Watt stepped up. And making threes is like the hardest Bro. thing to do when you are the first time in a playoffs. That was the craziest Nails. thing. He just stepped in immediately. The first thing he did was hit that three. He's like, that this was the, what I do. That was the, that was, honestly, like, if you rank the most surprising things that happened tonight, it was P. Watt coming out and hitting those eight quick points where the Nuggets were at a, a spot that they desperately needed it. And, yeah. um, you know, from that point on, like, Peyton Watson showed the, you know, he showed his rookie side. He made some mistakes. He was not crisp a lot, but he still brought effort. I mean, obviously, yeah. like, getting... LeBron James is your the guy that you're supposed to mark uh, in your first playoff game. Like, not ideal. Uh, but, like, overall, I would say I would give him absolutely a passing grade for yeah. his first. I just love how, um, like, how people go through, like, their, their tough time. This was a tough start for him um, right. defensively. LeBron was attacking him, um, just trying to see, like, what they were going to get from the young yeah. guy and put him in a, a tough situation. He knocks down threes on one end of the floor, and he's also playing hard. He did not you know drop his head like a lot of people can we have seen lebron james and a lot of people in these type of scenarios oh, and yeah. situations Peyton watson's name is not on that list of yeah. like hey lebron got the best of me in this type of you know situation i love that from him so like for a debut this is what you ask for like to just respond back after that against lebron james let's go to the man in the arena uh wind how about game one Hell of a game one, man. Hell of a game one. Yeah, uh, so tell us, just like, the, it all turned in that third quarter. Huge run. Take us inside the arena for that turn. Well, the first half was so weird. Aaron Gordon got in foul trouble, those two fouls, and I feel like that threw everything off for Denver. DeAndre Jordan was in the game, which I don't think was in the plans tonight, but it worked out. Peyton Watson played, like, a very loud role in that first half. So and then the third quarter, like, the Nuggets didn't panic. They didn't go away from anything that they went to in the first half. The shots just started falling. And they just kind of trusted the process and stuck with it. And it kind of felt like there was this huge exhale from the crowd, which was a little antsy in the first half. But then they saw some shots go in. You know, they got back to Nuggets basketball. The ball was popping. And everything just kind of felt normal again. And, I mean, that third quarter was insane. There was a great crowd once Denver started hitting shots. It was loud. There was a buzz in the air. So um, it felt – everything felt normal again, you know, starting in that third quarter. <laughs> it's so true. That was a normalizing third quarter. It was like, oh, that's right. That's what this feels like. It feels amazing. All right, take us now to Michael Malone. Yeah. Um, Michael Malone, pretty tame after this one. I'm not going to lie. I tried to bait him into an answer when I asked him. It was the four turnovers that you guys had tonight. Nuggets had just four turnovers, just one from the starters. Was that a product of you guys being so comfortable and so familiar playing against this team? I tried to bait him with that a little bit, not going to lie. He didn't take the bait. He was very calm. He said, look, like, we know they're going to try to bounce back in game two. He said, Darvin Ham's a hell of a coach. He'll have his guys ready. Um, but he was just proud of how the Nuggets didn't panic tonight. He said it was a long game and how he was happy with how they settled in in the second half. Uh, he talked about Michael Porter Jr. there, mentioned everything he's got going on right now in his personal life and how he was happy with how he stuck with it. 
into the third quarter. Um, he shouted out DeAndre Jordan as well, of course. He told DeAndre as they approached these playoffs to stay ready, kind of like he did before last year's playoffs, and he was happy with DJ's minutes tonight. And um, to Jamal Murray, he said, look, we played him 39 minutes. That's higher than we would have liked, but Murray's what? a gamer. <laughs> and then finally from Nikola jo- from Michael Malone on Nikola Jokic, he shouted out his two dunks. He was happy with that. Three. There and he three. said – One dunk was like – there was a – it counts. That was a dunk. On LeBron, that counts. Are we are we counting that as a dunk? I don't know if there was hand to rim contact. I'm gonna call it a jam. That was a jam. That was a slam. <laughs> uh, but um, it's kind of a he said, "Look, when the lights get brighter, his play just goes up and up." But he did call this a team win. You know, Nicole Jokic oh, yeah. was great, but like this was a team win, according to Michael Malone. He's right about that. It really was a team win, man. So many guys contributed. All right, who else spoke? Just talked to Jamal Murray as well, and he had a lot of interesting things to say. He was talking about, like, his poor shooting night. He didn't shoot the ball well. He, he still thought he played well. But he said he thought he was rushing his shots early on because he was excited for the playoffs. And he said it's kind of similar to what happened in game one against Minnesota last year. Um, it was that same kind of thing, but he settled in as well. Um, he shouted out DeAndre Jordan. He said he gave them great minutes tonight. And this was the best thing Jamal Murray said. This was straight fire. He was talking about just the team, how they share the ball and kind of the rhythm they settled into in the second half. And he said, you know, that's the beauty of this team. It's just pure basketball. We all know where to go on the floor. Nobody's hunting shots. You know, we've just been playing together for so long. We've got continuity with the coaching staff, with the roster. We just know how we're going to get our shots. And pure basketball. That was kind of like the theme of a couple minutes of his presser. Ethical basketball, some might say. So true. It was so ethical tonight. Six free throws. The oh, most ethical. Didn't even need them. Honestly, should have had zero. Yeah. But that's all I got from uh, the pressers. Wind, this new mic, this new camera, down on the court. <laughs> this is amazing. You like this? It's looking incredible, dude. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> all right, get back in there. Talk to Yoke. See what he has to say. Good stuff, Win. Great stuff for you. All right, sounds good break right now everybody three thousand people watching live hit those like buttons hit the like get button, it baby. Up. we're setting button, records baby. this year we're setting records get every nuggets fan in the world in here throw us a like we'll be back on the other side and this first winner's lounge of the postseason as the nuggets look to stay on parade is brought to you in part by our friends at manscaped did you know one man every hour every day is diagnosed with testicular cancer in fact Testicular cancer is the most common form of cancer amongst men aged 15 to 35. With April being National Testicular Cancer Awareness Month, our friends over at Manscaped have partnered with the Testicular Cancer Society Society to help spread awareness for men's health and early cancer detection. Visit manscaped.com slash TCS to learn how to check yourself for early signs of cancer. And as always, you can use the pro- promo code NUGGETS20 for 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com beer Let's lovers go. listen up we've Woo. got a special dmvr hookup for you from pub pass if you love craft beer you need pub pass on your phone there's not a better place in the country to be a beer lover than the great state of colorado there's no better way to be a beer lover in colorado than with the pub pass app the pub pass app gets you bogo one dollar and even free beer is at more than 300 breweries Whoa. and bars in greater denver plus the deals refresh 30 days after you use them. So you can come back again and again. Plus you get access to the entire country with oh, the same man. subscription for just five bucks a month. Pub Pass pays for itself the first time you use it. Dude, this is incredible. This like, is like, you're you're like, I I gotta go get beer. Like I, I, have, I have to, I've got a pass. Oh, you should check out Pub Pass. What are we talking about? Pub Pass. Oh, wow. <laughs> yep. but, but somebody's like, oh, you're going to the, you go to the pub, you're like, yeah, I have a pub pass. Yeah, I have a pub pass. Much like picking pass. the Nuggets to win round one, this is a no-brainer, folks. DNVR fans can get a one-year subscription for half off using oh, promo bro. code DNVR. That's a year of access to the best craft beer in the country for about two bucks a month. That's ridiculous. Dude, that's wild. Download Pub Pass now in the App Store or Google Play Store and use code DNVR when you sign up. And we are back here for segment three. We've talked about all the starters. We've talked about sure. some of the bench. You know, we are all but one of the starters. Let's get to Jamal Murray tonight. 22 points, 6 rebounds, 10 assists. 
one block shot. Nine of 24 shooting. Was not afraid to take shots tonight. Wasn't necessarily on, although he did go four of nine, and there were moments in this game where he, important moments where he was very on. Here's the thing about tonight's game, in my opinion. I felt like the Lakers really overloaded on Yoke early on, or I'm sorry, on Murray early on, it's and, wild. and, and Jared Yoke just scored. It's, it's wild how people just will throw a party five feet from us trying to talk. That really, is yeah. true. It is, it it is just really do it's a unique care. circumstance to work <laughs> on. It, for it sure is dance. unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, anyway, Jamal Murray tonight, how do you evaluate his game, D-line? He was great, man. I mean, obviously, we, we I expect him to hit much higher heights as the playoff goes on. Um, he wasn't perfect by any stretch. He started slow, but then he was part of the catalyst that like really brought the Nuggets back. And like when the Nuggets truly hit that groove, and they were playing uh, pure basketball, like that was a lot of that was Jamal just stepping in, hitting confident threes, playing the two man game. Like, just everything you want to see, you expect to see from the Denver Nuggets starts and ends with that peanut butter and jelly. And you know, I mean, like Jamal can of course be better than he was tonight, but like. For the first game in the playoffs that they won handedly, it was a really good showing. And it's just another very encouraging sign, not just for this series, but definitely in this series. But moving forward, like, we, we're ready, man. They're ready for this. I love it. Yeah, he talked about, I mean, a couple of uh, points. Like, he, the bread and butter, like, that's there. And, and we got to see that in this game. That pick and roll with him and Jokic. Jokic scored on it every single time. Sick. Jamal finished with 10 assists in this game. He was like, hey, I'm going to be able to, you know, try to get my shot going, but I'm also going to play within the flow of the offense. He had a few, um, you know, not great shots, but he also had his moments where he was able to take over, where he had some very tough finishes. Yep. He had, you know, a dunk. He had a left hand finish through traffic. And this was a... I mean, we, you got to get a custom. Like, guys are not going to play perfect. We know that Jamal is, you know, due for one or two bad games. If this is the bad game, watch out for the rest of right. the playoffs. Right. You know, like, they won. They're up 1-0. And he still had his moments. He still gets to feel good about himself. And he has to say, I have to get better. You do that in a win, and you feel a lot better. And I love Man. that. So I think that this is a great game for Jamal. And there's, there's much more to build on. Strongly agree with you, Dev. Strongly agree. If I told you guys before a game started that the starting point guard would shoot four of nine from three and finish with ten assists to zero turnovers, what would you would you I'd think be, that that's a good performance? I would say yeah, that's a good one. Feels good. I don't and know so, anything yes, about basketball. Though. He does shoot nine of twenty four, and that's not ideal. But four of nine from three, high volume, shot ready, made him ten assists, zero turnovers, six rebounds. That's a great game from your starting point guard. I, he could have been better as a shot maker. He also had a lot of attention. We talked about how do the Lakers match up with Murray. Well, they don't really have a Jaden McDaniels type, so what did they do? Particularly if Jokic wasn't on the floor, they blitzed him. It, it was a lot of attention, and it was it was up to Murray to make the right play. And he did force a few, but more often than not, he made the right play. So 10 assists, zero turnovers, 44% from deep. That's a good game from your starting point. Here's the other thing about tonight about how the Lakers guarded Jamal and how they guarded the team in general. They kind of dared Denver to beat him with threes. Denver had a lot of wide open threes tonight. Denver shot 36%, which is pretty good. Their season average is 37.5%. We'll call it their season average tonight. They shot their season average. But they got A plus looks. In a season, you get like B looks from three, you know, summer A, summer C, whatever, comes up to B. Tonight was A plus. And in the first half, they missed all of them, I felt. And then in the second half, they made a lot of them. But. To me, it feels like the Lakers made a few decisions in this game one that tell you what they're thinking in this series. One of them is they are terrified of Jamal Murray, so they were like, give up the Jokic pocket pass and let's see what Jokic has, yeah. which is really dumb. But more importantly, really try to pack the paint, keep Jamal away from the rim, try to keep Nikola from the rim the best you can at the expense of kickout shots, and in particular to Aaron Gordon and Christian Brown and Peyton Watson. But even to Michael Porter, KCP, and Jamal Murray, those guys got A-plus looks. And I just think if Denver gets the looks they got tonight from three, they're going to have a game they win by 30. Because their three-point shot making is variance. But you give them A-plus looks, man, they're bound to have heaters. So true. All right. Yeah. I mean, we really didn't even get to – and it's not like a bad take – we didn't get to see the ball is popping type of games. We didn't right. get to see a Murray flurry. Yeah, it was not get to see, all their best you know, game. Th this was not the Nuggets' best game 
this was not Jamal Murray's best game, but we also got to see those flashes that make them different than everyone else. We got to see a play that you can just go to every single time, and it's gonna have the exact same result. So when those other things do come, I mean, that just makes Denver better. I do think that there's a, you know, a next level they can go, and I think that that's coming close. Um, so like, it's not to be critical of Jamal. I think that he, there was different ways that the, the Lakers were giving him different looks and he had to adjust to it. But that adjustment, you started to see it later in the game where he started looking comfortable. They really played Anthony Davis six more minutes than Jokic. That's wild, man. But look, you, this was your big takeaway. AD was, in the first half, AD and LeBron were great. They were they good. It's going to be a battle. going to be a battle, man. Turn it back to clock. Plus, and the free throw <laughs> advantage between it all. Yeah. You're thinking if you're a Lakers fan at halftime, we got to win this one. And then by the end of the game, you're thinking, how did we not win this one? And again, this is the ninth time in a row that that's been the outcome. It's crazy. Man. I honestly don't think the Lakers are thinking, how did we not win this one? I think they know. I think they know how they won. Yeah, they yeah, win yeah this I think one. at this point they get it. I, I think, think at this point they get it. How do we ever win one again? <laughs> All right, let's look at some of the... Things, if you're a Lakers fan, let's put on our Lakers hats here. Oh, my God. Let's put on our Lakers hats, you guys. And let's ask ourselves, how could it be better? Well, first of all, D'Angelo Russell, 6 of 20, 1 of 9. That won't happen again. Yes, it will. No. Oh, <laughs> well, I mean, he's having a... He was after the game shooting on the main court. I'm oh, just kidding. Man. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I bet he will be. That one year, I bet he will be, dude. In full uniform, he was doing that, and everyone's like, he's locked in. Uh, but he could play better. Um, he can. He really can. He, he really will. can't make he some will. shots. He will. Um, Austin Reeves also didn't. Yeah. He didn't have his type of games, or at least that moment. And you, I mean, again, you give credit to Denver, but if you're a Laker fan, you're going to say, "Hey, he's going to play better. He's going to be able to get to the free throw line more. He's going to have, a, you know, a few more splashes." Darvin Ham, after oh the game, God. said that there were. More adjustments in the pipeline. They haven't shown everything. So. Oh, do you think they're going to get uh, new players? <laughs> <laughs> it's all about adjustments and conversations in LA. Yeah, Probably, um, it would be. I would just respect them more if they were just like, man, we don't know what to do. <laughs> do you guys want to know another hilarious stat? Combined, don't look at it. Combined, Jokic and Murray had 17 assists. How many turnovers do you think they had combined? Zero. Zero combined. They had a 17 to zero assisted turnover ratio and that's, between the two of them. Dante just snapped a pencil. It's <laughs> so meaningful against the Lakers who are most likely to do damage, particularly LeBron in transition in the half court. He will take some threes and he's been good at him this year. In transition, he still looks an awfully lot like the LeBron we've been watching for 20 years. <laughs> Excuse me. What is the best way to mitigate that? Well, your best two players, your highest usage players, combine for zero turnovers. Yeah. That goes a long way. And the Lakers will still find their spots. But you do your best to keep the easy stuff, right, out of their hands. And and they did that, and particularly in the second half, but really all game, those two. And that's that's what I said, man, for my, my key to this series. And it sounds so boring, but when you're this much better than your opponents, take care of your stuff. Don't make it easy for them. Rebound the ball. You know what I mean? Don't, exactly. don't turn it over. And when Denver does that, which they've done in the big games this season, they're really, really, really hard for this Lakers team to beat. I mean, that's the thing. Like, the, the Nuggets didn't do anything exceptional this evening by their standards. They didn't. There wasn't a stretch where you're like, can you believe? We didn't have, like, an unbelievable shot from Jokic or, right. you know, just like a, a He had a, a lot of very impressive shots, though. Yes, but we didn't have that thing that you just – scratch oh, your saying. head and you're like oh my god like what do you do this is like they're playing out of their minds like the nuggets were so ordinary in the the way that they played tonight this was just a carbon copy like run of the mill dominant nuggets golden era performance tonight and the lakers just like slowly were whittled down and in the end it was like truly never in doubt do you know what we didn't talk about and we just did the Murray segment? Murray had a crazy dunk down the line. Lane. Yeah, dude. Oh, I'm, We don't see I'm a Jamal. lot of Murray dunks anymore, you know, since the injury. Tonight he had one that was like... That's how he got on the board. That is how he got on the board. <laughs> yeah, it's true. That's how he Right down Main time. Street, man. That's how he got the playoff it. time. I swear Jamal dunk, dunk rate is so much higher in the playoffs. Than yeah. it is. Oh, for season. sure. 
Kale, do you have the stat muse graphic I have as we go to Grant? Well, I love that they made Yoke Groove. <laughs> <laughs> stat, Muse, stat Muse has updated their Jokic graphic for today. It is Gru. 17 assists, zero turnovers. All right, let's take a break. On the other side, 40 super chats and counting. Man, oh you might be sitting there thinking, game two, I don't have tickets yet. I got to find a way to get inside a ball arena for the best show in town. Well, you might just be able to get in with game time. It's the hottest new ticketing app with the best seats at the last second for the best prices. And that's how it should be. That's how it should be when you have downtown arenas, of which Denver has several. You might realize last second you're trying to be there. It might be the case that last second someone realized they can't make it. Season ticket holders, people with great tickets, they're putting them up for sale at game time, and you're gre getting great prices at game time. So go ahead and take the guesswork out of buying tickets. Download the Game Time app now. Create an account. Use code DNVR for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account. Redeem code DNVR for $20 off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets. Lowest price. Guaranteed. And now is as good a time as there's ever been to be a DNVR diehard where you're going to get tons of perks like access to all of our content. Mares win. Myself will be all over the roundtables throughout the playoffs. Who knows, maybe some stuff from practice in between. You're going to want or need to be a diehard to get access to all of that. It also just supports us, keeps it us going. Supports us and I hope the show goes forever. And it makes life good for you, too. You get a free shirt or a hat of your choice from DNVR Locker every year at Renewal. Access to members only Discord, 20% off all events, 20% off all merch, uh, ad-free website experience, exclusive members only merch, and physical diehard card, which is my favorite part. Go ahead and sign up now. Never been a better time to be a diehard. Uh, the reveal! <laughs> La Street from Pancho Serbia! It is the Let's Missile! First time ever in the Winner's Lounge, Miroslav. How does it feel? Uh, I have no idea because I didn't see the game, well, so... <laughs> but you're still in the winner's Just lounge. Just lie. We make yeah. It could have been a loser's we usually lounge. Lie. You fly this whole way, you get a loser's lounge. Oh, we I do have a Toyota as, yeah, as well course, on top of, of it. Of yeah, course. That's good. I, I thought you, you were giving me the bad mic, so that's good. How much of a zombie do you feel like right now? I, I'm running on adrenaline right now, so I have no idea how I'm going to feel tomorrow. Terrible. But right now, right now I, I feel alive. Yeah, you're going to feel awesome. incredible. You're going to feel incredible. <laughs> um, so the Nuggets won tonight. Let me give you the rundown. Jokic was incredible. Mm. Yeah. Murray hit some big time shots. Yeah. Okay. The yeah. Lakers ran out of gas. Let's go! And the Nuggets looked by a far the better team. Yeah, all, all of that tracks. <laughs> all, all, of all of that, that tracks. tracks. <laughs> yeah. Um, you've only been in the U.S. now for, I don't know, 40 minutes. What's your impression so far? A uh, really quick uh, uh, passport queue. I, I have to say, <laughs> really, really no. quick one. Hell yeah! Good, good on you, Colorado. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy about that. Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm here just to, just to be here for the sweep of the Lakers. Yeah. Because I'm not the coward like you guys. Like, like <laughs> Eric, Eric is my guy. Yeah. Nuggets in five. Come on, guys. Uh, well, Come on. I hey, know. Just listen, I. The team of the past. I'm showing you know, some respect. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, showing some right. respect to the team of the past. They man. got the adjustments. They have some adjustments they said they were going to make. Oh, so. D'Lo is excellent. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, we have some super chats you get to read along with us. Actually, vote or read them. You could just react to them. Uh, what do we got here? First of all, I just want to say personally, Amir Sov is one of my best friends, and this is a beautiful moment. Okay. It really bring is up a the beautiful super moment, chats. man. Bring up the super chats. <clears throat> Cedric Exquisite, how are we feeling, Nuggets Nation? D-Line, come on, give us a hashtag Milky Mukbang. Gross. <laughs> There's also a milk emoji in there. Hot <laughs> take, please read. Jamal Finals MVP, 30-20-25. I'll be in Denver in uh, May. If Murray gets a 30-20-25 game, give him, the, give him the Finals MVP. 30-20-25. That, can you imagine? First of all, what's the craziest number there? It's, it's not 30 points. He's done that a lot. It's 25 of something. No, 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 no. 25 assists. I guess I can see it. You keep pocket passing to Yoke. 20 rebounds? <laughs> He's for a good Jamal? rebounder. He's, He's a good rebounder. Well, 20 rebounds is not for the good rebounders. In, all of that in the first in one game is the best game ever. I can see pocket pass to Yoke. 
pocket pass. Yeah, I can see 25 assists to Jokic. We're going to keep tearing through these super chats. We appreciate all the super chatters, the regular chatters. Do us a favor. Toss this stream a like. Helps more Nuggets fans. Finds it. Throws it to the top of the YouTube algorithm. CJ Jones dropping 10 bucks to say one down, 15 to 15 go, to fellas. Go. Gotta love that playoff energy. Let's Man. fucking go. Playoff energy is unbelievable. The bar energy tonight. I showed up at four and the place was already popping, man, with like energy and stuff. It was so great to see. Such an energy, man. James Darshweski repping the Nuggets in Santa Monica, Hell reminding yeah. Lakers fans who their daddy is. One out of 16 down. That's right. I didn't Dude, ask what D Lo shot. I wonder if. I wonder if Laker fans know who their daddy is. <laughs> what else do we got? I think they know, to be honest. Ye old Nuggets fan. Beware, peoples of the lake. Thou shalt wish ye disducketh the smoke. For the Nuggets are a fire. <laughs> I like that Oh, one. man. Shakespeare, man. I love, I love yeah. this. Yeah, well, I love Shakespeare, dude. <laughs> so, I do like the idea. We're not ducking any smoke. You know what's funny about that? He's quoting Darvin Ham. We're not ducking any smoke or ducking fades, I believe. I'm not. I'm, again, I screwed up an earlier. Pour one out. I'm not going to try to show off We're my not slang. ducking no fades, and yeah. we want all the smoke. We want all the smoke. Okay, that's what it was. I kept sitting there going, saying that acknowledges that the totally, Nuggets totally, totally, You know totally, what I mean? Totally. We're not totally, afraid acknowledges totally. that most people think you should be afraid. Yeah. There's no doubt, man. Like the Nuggets weren't like, we're not ducking... We're not ducking any smoke from the Lakers. They'd be like, what smoke are you talking about? <laughs> what smoke? This one comes from a great basketball mind on Twitter, but I could. I'm, I'm, I'm rocking my memory. I think this guy may have tweeted he could see the Lakers beating the Nuggets in the first round. Oh, I, I hope he apologizes. Oh, oh, I'm just hearing now he paid to say this. I take that back. <laughs> this is from Andrew Bailey, 10 bucks. Does it get much better than watching a playoff game at Ball Arena and then listening to the DNVR postgame on the way back to Wyoming? Salute. To my favorite NBA He's podcast. He's got another three hours till he gets home, man. What are the, the OG, we're here with you, brother. We're one here. of the OG Jokic appreciators, Andy yeah. Bailey. That, that was an excellent tweet by Andy because he was putting more pressure on the Lakers. I know. So. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> he knows what he's he doing. Knows what he's doing. <laughs> that or he was hacked. We'll, we'll let him They're say. They're like, you like the Nuggets too much. You have to switch it up. He's like, I think they'll win. Yeah. What else do we got? Bum, 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 bum. Big honey, they had us in the first <laughs> half. Not going to lie. I like that. That's a good meme. Really, the first quarter. Know your meme. Know your meme. Yeah, know your meme. Daniel Lynch, the fellas aren't chopped liver, but where's Miroslav? Hey, hey, where is, is Miroslav? Yes. Oh, there he is. He's right here. Dan Lynch, my guy. You there know what? <laughs> After our trip to Serbia, chopped liver kind of sounded apt. Speaking of which, everybody downstairs, I'm like doing my lap. Usually people are like, damn. Nope, today they're like, is Miroslav here? Yeah. Where's Miroslav? <laughs> Where's Miroslav? <laughs> I'm like, bro. Dev's not the favorite Do anymore. Do you guys see me? Do you guys see me? By the way, by the time I came here, nobody that knows me left. So I <laughs> stayed, so everybody left. So. Except hey. for Jordan. Shout out Jordan. Yeah, shout out to Jordan. Holy Jordan smokes, Scott. hey, I love this team. The good old days are feeling so good tonight. That's, that's oh, what we're so good. It's Holy so true, smokes. man. We are in the good old days. It's so wild. I almost get anxiety from knowing that. These Matthew the Crane, the Nuggets have an amazing record when I stop watching once we go down by 10 plus. You are welcome, everyone. All the Nuggets are good. All the Nuggets are but good. But also, brother, steal up. Yeah. Steal up. Nug life is uh Nug life is changed. Yeah. What else do we got? Chunk oh, Dickwell's Chunk burner. Dickwell's burner. Burr, 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 burr. I need to take a scooter ride and milk this mukbang because no <laughs> folks given tonight. <laughs> By the way, what's the difference between a Lakers fan and a carp? One is bottom feeding, scum sucker, and the other is a fish. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, man. That's pretty good. Chunk Dickwell. That sounds like curse words, too. It does. It, does. it did and sound like Chunk it. Chunk Dickwell gets so spicy on the burner. Woodpecker. Mixer, love from Serbia, been hitting the Rakia shot with the crew here in Sambor all night. Let's fucking go. Givoli, guys, let's run it back. Also, look at Eric, so happy, so inspiring. He is. He's very he is happy. happy. He smiled a lot today. No complaints from Eric today. Uh, Even Mar when they were down. Sorry, Dev. Marcel Newsom, Canis to Poppy Lakers. That's so true. <laughs> Canis to Poppy. Mexico knows. Did I say that right? I took a guess. Yeah, you did. You Haley Keel, the local San Francisco Bay Area TV channel, did a post-game show about this game raving about Jokic and the Nuggets. Love to see the Laker-hating comrades. Hashtag stay on parade. I wonder if it's because they watched Jokic dominate the game. I wonder if that's why they were raving about him. Mile High Mems was forbid when Ma was forbid when foretold. Ma cooked breakfast. Was foretold. Thank you. Thank you very much. Was foretold. Word. 
When Ma cooked breakfast with no hog. Do you catch the reference? Mom cooked breakfast with no hog. <laughs> <laughs> Flying over my Marist head. <laughs> Marist I'm gonna tell you. Today is a good day. I'm gonna tell you. Today is a good day. Today is a good day, man. Today is a good day. Today is a good day. Yeah, and it started 22 hours ago for me. Hey, uh, messed around and almost got a triple double. Hey, Oh, I get it. It's a two Americas <laughs> thing. Yeah, uh, I'm in the other one. Well, okay, here we go. That wouldn't feel like it crossed over. I just, I, I'm pretty right. insular. Daniel Lynch, vote spitting MPJ poetry. He's not soft, indeed. Good game from him tonight, man. Funny good, good. Daddy Project. This is oh, Dylan I'm sorry, Lynch. Daniel Lynch. Thank you, Daniel Lynch again. What do we call a player with endurance? An athlete. That's Jokic inspired. All right. Funny Daddy Project. Joker computing and changing the look in split seconds proves he should be announced MVP tomorrow. Sadly, it won't be until the second round, but it will be announced nonetheless. Bro, there was a pass. You talk about a computer. There was a pass in the game that Jokic had two choices. At the last second, he adjusted and made. I was like, oh, that is. It wasn't even like a crazy pass, but it was just like he had to make the right choice. And it, I mean, it ended up being a three, of course, because he's smarter than me. He's really good, man. Yeah. Rody. Kind of. <laughs> Rody. Good stuff, Rody. Joe and Philly. Guys, AD and LeBron are having a conversation right now. Oh, right crap. Now. Right As now we speak. Are? Miroslav, you might as well get on a plane and turn around, buddy. Go oh, on. Oh, man. Go you on. wasted that, that your time. That sounds bad. That sounds bad. My jerseyman. Uh, oh, sorry. Another one from Rody. I didn't mean to send that sticker like AG. I was just jazzed up. It's okay, Rody. It's okay. <laughs> My jersey fella, Mark Gunderman. Hey... Uh, fellas, hey homies, stay on parade. What a feast. Loved my first time watching at DNVR bar. You Hell guys yeah. are awesome. I met everyone except superstar Devin Miroslav next time. The Nuggets are so fucking Mark, good. Mark, I hope that we see you this week. I hope it. Me and Miroslav are yep. excited to see you. Hell yeah. For the whole week. Clay kills, uh, Clay Killis first. Okay. Huh. All the Nuggets are good. All the Lakers are trash. Agreed. Portland DNVR diehards, come watch the Nuggets at Broadway Grill. We're taking this bar over. All, All right, right. Good to know for the over. next one. They Broadway Grill. Like DNVR diehards, come here. If you can't make it here, then you go Go to there. the Broadway Grill. Then in you Portland. Go there. If you live in Portland. In Portland. Chunk Dickwell's burner. He's back. <laughs> D'Lo is now 3 of 24. That's 12.5%. From three in his last five playoff games against the Nuggets. Can D'Lo drive a stick? Only if you remove the clutch. I like it. That's good. This guy. Chunk Dickwell would never say that. No, no, no. no, no, no. no. That doesn't sound like Chunk Dickwell yeah. at all. No. Absolutely. Could be anyone's burger. Could be anyone's burger. <laughs> <laughs> 402 Nuggets. So hyped to experience another playoff run with the fellas. I can't thank you guys enough for the awesome coverage. Heart, stay on parade. Stay on parade. Yo, told us thank what to you, do. He said you, he wants to you. stay on parade. We we will oblige. Five, 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 five ish. I was at game one. The vibes are through the roof. Going to try to go to the bar for at least one game. All the nuggets are good. Please do come through. Five, five, five ish. Get through here, man. Get Please through do come here. Through. Come see Miroslav. Actually, he'll be at the arena for Monday's game. Back at the bar, though, for Thursday's game. Daniel Lynch, 29 NBA owners tolerate the Lakers' free throw differential. Why? What are you supposed to do about it? I don't know if tolerate is necessarily the... I will, I will say, man, I don't want to complain about uh, like too many of the calls. The only one was the LeBron and one he got that was like <laughs> the exact play that the officials were like, this is the one we no longer want to call. And yeah. he got that one, and you're like, it wasn't even contact. It was so lame. Whatever. If it weren't for that, they would have lost by even more points. <laughs> Mushroom head 88. Watching ESPN analysts try and talk themselves into Lakers winning this series is so fucking hysterical. Nuggets in four. It's true, man. They want it. They want the drama. Well, my friend, all the Nuggets are good. Hell yeah. You know what my actual new hope? I have a new hope before you read the next one. Lakers eliminated. Warriors are out. Ratings through the roof. Turns out the Nuggets are the team that are supposed to be on <laughs> national television. This was my new goal. Turns out everybody is sick of the Lakers and the Warriors. Of course, man. Libela. Sadly, it's been a bit of a blue season for certain guys. Moe's father passed. Yoke lost Dayon. Mike's brothers each have had life-altering events. If Denver goes on to win it all, this chip should be an emotional one. Let's fucking go. Nugs back to back. You know what? That's a very thoughtful, you know, sort of comment when you put them together like that. I haven't really thought about it that way, but it is true. A lot of people that have, those aren't like little things. Those are big life things. I haven't thought about it. I thought about them each obviously individually, but oh, kind of yeah. true. But also, I mean, 
I mean, you guys out there, people are going through things in their personal life. That's why this is the escape. This is the yep. thing to look forward to, and it's fun. So you got to love that. Got to love it, man. Blair Einfeldt, three words, Gruz your daddy. Oh, man, Gruz your daddy Ooh. indeed. Ooh. Robert Gruz your daddy. George, thanks for doing the watch along. Ton of fun. Oh, they're so All fun. All playoffs long, gang. All playoff long. All playoffs long. It's just Jordan 42069. Nice. After the first 18 minutes, I wasn't sure if they were ready for this. God damn it, they were ready for this. They were turned ready it on, man. They turned it this. on. Mahesh, no moral victories in a 10 Hell plus yeah. loss. Converse on that. The bar was popping. Great to chat with D-Line and Adam. Y'all are excellent hosts. One down, 15 to go. Mahesh, thank you kindly. Mahesh, man. Cool dude, man. Glad I, I met him last week at the illegal pizza event we did. Yeah, and he was right. at the bar tonight. Nelson. Super sticker. Miroslav! Wait, they have a Miroslav? Is that what it is? It's just Miroslav. Wow. I had yeah. no idea they had uh, that. Actually, it's, it's in the shape of an owl. But oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you yeah. go. Thor Johannesson. What if we saw an owl tonight on the way home? We'll look. We'll keep oh. our eyes open. Thor Johannesson. Miro Chuk is my second all-time favorite Serbian. All the nuggets are good. Who do you think <laughs> his first is? Tesla. It's probably Tesla. Yeah. Maybe Djokovic, Djokovic. You're right. Yeah, he's a big tennis guy. He's a big tennis guy. Could be Pokerchef. Carl Hahn. D'Lo unders were the lock of the night. <laughs> that hashtag KC3 spree gave me life. Playoff nuggets are finally here. <laughs> that is so true, man. The D'Lo. <laughs> Congrats to all people who bet the D'Lo under tonight. Each shot, they're like, yes. It was close, wasn't it? Or was it not even close? It was, it was close. It was a little close. He kept <laughs> shooting. He's a gunner. <laughs> he is a he's probably still shooting right now. Jay Rich just found a store on Etsy selling fictional Jokic horse racing merch. Yeah, get that while you get it. All right. <laughs> Lumi, hit the like button, fam. Support the crew for free. Hell yeah. yeah 35 likes away from 1,000. 35, 35, 35, 35 likes from right now. Do it for Miroslav. 35 likes from Miroslav. 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 He got on a plane. And what we'll all give him a hug. Bowden 12, first super chat. Wonderful night. And you guys are icing on the cake. Thank you. Hell yeah. No, thank you. Icing. Mixer just wanted to say hi to my namesake, Miroslav. Hell yeah. Uh, Miroslav, you want to read that for me? Can you? It's in Serbian. Pozdrav imenjači i provedi se iza nas u tem hladnom Denveru. Pozdrav iz Sombora. Živeli su. I will hold on. We got some guess here. Yeah. Uh, congrats in, to Miroslav on going to the U.S. Well, from Serb, some, from Sombor. Yeah. Is that it? It's pretty good. What was it? Pretty, pretty good. Yeah, pretty, pretty close. Because I was going to be off. I would have said something about an old wooden ship. <laughs> an old wooden ship. <laughs> no, I'd be surprised, Dev, if the Super Chatter was concerned with an old wooden ship. But that's just a good guess. the fact that he has the same first name as I do. So. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Uh, Next time, you'll have it. There are a lot of Miroslavs. We'll get to that. Daniel Lynch, everyone's second favorite Serbian, Miroslav Chuk. How does that, feel? does that feel a little bit? Is it a little hurt? Does it you hurt? Know, when somebody tells you, like, you are my top four somebody, yeah. you know you're fourth, right? <laughs> yeah, you're right. You would have you said top three if you were. You're right. But you're you know right. what, man? Between Djokovic and Joker, being in anyone's top three. I'm not even in my mom's top three children. <laughs> so, like, you being in the top three is big time. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't been in any single one of my girlfriend's yeah. top three, I'll tell you. <laughs> Never. Right and Tom, still no. Tom Stewart. So good to see Miroslav in the winner's lounge. Nuggets in four. 15 to go. All the nuggets are good. Let's fucking go. Look, listen. Miroslav made history tonight. We got the most viewers we've ever had. We got the most likes we've ever had. Miroslav is in the house, baby. It's, it's historic. I will say, man. The, I, I'm not trying to jinx it and say there will be a sleep, although you feel like you feel pretty confident. But you know what? Sweep's still alive. Sweep's still alive. Sweep is still alive. One and, game that, and that feels good just to be alive. Didn't break. That's a dub. Didn't break. Tom Stewart, so good. Oh, Bubbles buzzer beater. Sec You're good, Kill. Don't ever apologize. Tom Stewart, so good to see Miroslav in the winner's lounge. Oh, we did this one. You were right the first time. Bubbles buzzer beater. Second fewest free throw attempts ever in an NBA playoff game win. Is that true? Ever. <laughs> Don't need him. Whatever. We don't even talk about it. <laughs> Come on. Cause we didn't even, that's not how you know. We didn't even talk about the fouls. We didn't even talk about it. Listen, you were right in the pregame show. When you tighten things up, it's an advantage for Denver. They're used to this shit. Oh, they man. don't need it. They don't need it. Andrea Variel Murphy. 
Welcome to Denver, Miroslav Zhivoli. The Murphy stayed away from the bar tonight so the Nuggets can hash the Oh, stay. man. Oh. Andrea, I'm so Chris, sorry. Chris Murphy and I'm Andrea, so they sorry. have to stay away. They're Andrea, 0-3 I'm sorry. At the bar, Excuse me, Andrea. Including the, uh, last, the Spurs loss where they sh- showed up and the Nuggets were up 20 when we arrived. Oh, man. You got to come and view. win here so that you could see that it's not you. Yeah. It's not you. But, I, but the thing is, it might be her. Yeah. <laughs> it might, don't, don't, don't risk. Maybe come back for the regular season next pre-season, season. Pre-season, man. Pre-season. 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 We'll try it out. We'll get a couple pre-season Stay games back, in. Murphy. Summer League. Moving on to Summer Andrea, League at the bar. Andrea, we love you, too. We're going to uh, get you in here for a win. Anya Stefanovic. Stefanovic. Go Nuggets from Toronto. Hashtag oh, Toronto. Mile High Basketball. Hell yeah. Ulysses Ventura. Happy 420. Nuggets and four. We're smoking Lakers packs. We're smoking that Lakers pack. R.I.P. Bozos. That's a that's a pot smokers holiday. I know. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't know if that translated I'll show you later. across. Yeah. Cedric Exquisite says, "Vote. Don't be a milk hater. I'm a drive up to see you." Uh, all right, man. Listen. Man, that is so creepy. A threat like that. No, yeah, dude. that is a threat. Milk. You know how scared. Did you say something if you, about if you milk? say anything about milk, I'm gonna come out there. I'll tell you guys quickly why I'm out on milk. As a vertically challenged fella myself, growing up. Yeah. I was told milk was the key to growth spurts. That's what Fucking horse shit. Yeah, didn't no, didn't yeah, help. Yeah. Was you drinking milk as it's? <laughs> yeah, all it did was make me gassy, you man. See? <laughs> I didn't grow. That's what it does. I yeah. didn't get Tummy taller. Aches. My stomach yeah. hurt a lot. Anyway, yeah. I digress. Um, MFJ, um, hello, Miroslav. Enjoy Denver. Hashtag all the nuggets are good. What if he hates Denver? <laughs> it's like worst the, city I've ever been like, to in my life. The food was horrible. <laughs> it's in the play. It's in, it's in play. It's in play. Like, I didn't see a single KFC out there. <laughs> He's all off to a rough start so far here. Yeah. We'll see. Haven't seen anything. It's really dark out it there. It is dark, So we'll yeah. see. Nick Sawyer. Says Nick, Nick Sawyer. Sawyer. Hell yeah. Matt Walker. So glad to be back here with you fellas. Nugs on full script. Great W to set the tone. And no text tonight. Stay on parade. Hell yeah. Nugs in five. LFG boys. Stay on parade, baby. I love how everybody's using the hashtag. I love it. Dude, everyone gets it. That's Eric, the thing. all the homies are saying stay on parade. Is he even here? I don't even know. A lot of shows about. have have regulars. A lot of shows have viewers. Not every show has viewers who get the show. Yeah, that's right. We do. Trent Mc, McAteer? McAteer. That's a tough one. Mcketier, hit the like button like AD hits the floor for marginal contact. Oh, it's so All true. All the nuggets are good. Hashtag stay on parade. I will say one thing about the officiating, and it was true of last year's playoffs. AD tries to get that fall like dribble, bounce into you, throw it off. He tries it like eight times a game and the refs are like, dude, no. get up. It does help though when you hit the ground and the Nuggets have numbers the other yeah, way. It does, yeah. it does help. It's like it it's worth help. the risk here. Yep. Buzzles buzzer beater. Nuggets only shot six more free throws than Jordan McCrady. <laughs> well done. Well done. I was wondering how he'd work it in there. Aiden Richardson from Aiden, Aiden Richardson. That's it, boys. Man, hit that outro music there, Kale. Miroslav. You want to take us home tonight? Nuggets want to know. Yes. So, Nuggets fans, this is uh, this is gonna be an epic playoff series. We all say that the West is tougher than last year, and it probably is. I had friend of the show Dan Favale last week on the show, and he said there's no way the Nuggets are gonna repeat 16 and four. And then we went through the whole playoff, and we ended on six, 16 and 6. So it's going to be rough. So, so <laughs> It's going to be so hard. It's going to be really hard. So buckle up. All right. Oh, and by the way, Stay tuned. thank you out there. We're at 1,000 likes on this show. We've we had over 2,000 viewers the whole time. Make sure you're sharing this, all right? If you got Nuggets fans in your life that are feeling sectioned off in another state, if they're not able to make it to Ball Arena or the DNVR bar, hang out with us. Pre-games, live watch-alongs, post-games, written content we keep it going we'll keep it rolling all the way through fellas we're trying to stay on parade here in denver one down 15 to go we'll see you guys on monday for game two